from the World Championships. Are we a better team? Um, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, the World Championship team, we just really clicked. Um, we had a lot of great players who just wanted to win and everything like that. But I, I know in terms of the talent now that we have, um, it's, it's very deep and we're very athletic. And um, having Susie and Rahani Cox added to the team, is, you know, it's, it only makes us better. So, you know, um, when you're comparing teams, it's very difficult. But I, I think that the team is very good. You're talking about, of course, the composition of the Australian 12. Do you think you're a better player now than at the World Championships? Definitely, yeah. I think that, um, you know, I've had a couple more years' experience. Um, you know, obviously, I've been playing all year, no injuries. Um, I, I definitely feel like I, I am. So the strength of Lauren Jackson now, you wouldn't need to have put on any weight because you are a very solid lass, and I'm saying that in, in a complimentary way. You're a tall ranger. You've got athleticism. Where do you think then that you you are improving? Just I think you know experience. Um, it's a it's a very important in basketball. I mean, having talent and um, things like that. It's it's great, but um, it can only take you so far. I think that I've been around the game long enough to know. Um, you know, I've had the experiences to sort of know what to expect, and you know, I can help guide people. I can also focus on myself um, and just you know, try and be as good as I can be at the Olympics. You're in a good position to make a judgment, Lauren, as to how important Penny Taylor is to this Australian team. Uh, she just it's continues really to cool. improve. And how valuable is it going to be with her standing beside you in Beijing? Uh, look, Penny is just world class. Like, she's one of, the, one of the best players in the world. So with her playing the way that she is and, um, you know, again, in a couple more years' experience for her, it's, um, it just makes our team very, very strong. So... You know, I've got more respect for Penny than anybody in the world, so I think that um, I just can't wait to be standing with her and, and leading this team with her. That's a big statement. And now let's go with countries now. You said Russia, and, uh, of course, you've got your two friends there who are living with you who will play for the United States. But away from basketball in Russia, mm -hmm. what do you do? If there's any time at all for you to do something that is Lauren time, what would that be? Well... Do you shop? <laughs> yeah, we shop occasionally. Um... But we live a little bit out of Moscow, so getting into the city isn't that easy. Um, like, it kind of takes time with the traffic and everything. Um, we pretty much don't do anything. We watch a lot of NBA TV, um, read a lot of books. Um, uh, you know, it's, it's hard. We don't, really, we don't really do that much. We just play basketball? Yeah, we do. We focus on the basketball, so it's, that's a lot of fun. Mm. And so when you move then back to America to play, where will you be? Where will you be stationed? And what can you do then to try and give yourself a bit of space away from the hoop? Oh, well, I live in, I live in Seattle. I have my own um, a condo there that I bought. So I, I get a lot of personal fun there, which is fun. And I just, uh, I just like spending time with myself, actually. Um, just listening to music, chilling out, uh, relaxing as much as I can. And, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty simple lifestyle I lead. You were one of the ambassadors who flew the flag when you were living in Australia for women's sport. Mm -hmm. Of course, the WNBL now enjoying a wonderful season last year and um, as we speak now, the national netball season with teams in New Zealand and teams in Australia. What about women's sport? Let's, let's start with Russia. What's it like over there with, with the publicity and with people being aware as to just how good you are? You know, I think worldwide... Um Women's sport is starting to grow. I, I definitely believe that, you know, obviously, with the money they're throwing into women's sport in Russia, um, it, it can only get better and bigger. So, um, you know, and they, they take their sport very seriously over there. I think that they get lifelong pensions if they medal or get a gold medal. Do they know, really? And, mm. Yeah. But it's a lot more serious. There's a lot more money involved. So um, it is, it's different. It, they're, they're playing for different reasons than what we are. You know, we, we're going to the Olympics... Um, wanting to win a gold medal. You know, we don't get anything out of it except the gold medal and that feeling that we've been the best. So um, it's, it's definitely different all around the world and people do it for different reasons. Lauren, are the games in Russia televised? Yes, on the, uh, nationally in Russia. Okay. So th there is then a chance to sit down and say, hey, women's basketball's on tonight. Lauren Jackson's playing. Let's sit down. Let's look. I don't know whether they say that, but... Um, well, I can't speak yeah. Russian. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure. I know that we do have a little bit of a following over there, and, um, you know, they do as much as they can to get us on TV and, and uh, get, the, get the league promoted. And is it really different when you go out there, and uh, a lot of people say with the refereeing, it's totally different, the style of refereeing that you get as opposed to playing in Australia? 
Yeah, it is much different. Um, you never know what you're going to get on any given night. There is about zero consistency um, in the calls. Or, so you just sort of got to go out there and play. And I, I mean, that's a, the fun part is that you really are just, it's pretty, just, pretty much just basketball. Yeah. Lauren Jackson's so. our special guest on Grandstand around Australia. Now, you say you've got a nice little spot in Seattle where you live whilst you're playing in America. We love talking to Australians who are applying their trade in the WNBA over there. Is this getting stronger too? Or there seem to be more Australians now who are reaching the pinnacle of playing over in the States? Yeah, it's great. Um, there's a lot of players coming through now that are playing over there, both men and women. Um, and it's, it's great. I mean, um, it's the best league in the world. It's very competitive. It's professional basketball at its best. So um, it is, it's a great, a great statement for basketball in Australia that we have so many players over there and able to compete. And, of course, the revelation that you'd be aware of, that uh, not only is it America, but young Erin Phillips is off to Israel. Yes, she is. Is that a big one? Um, it is, but, you know, Israel is a lovely place. I actually vacationed there this year with one of my teammates, and um, it really is a lovely, lovely place. So I think she's going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of basketballers there from America, and I'm sure she has friends from other teams going there too. So, you know, she, she definitely won't be out of fun. Um, She's away from, you know, all the ugliness um, in Tel Aviv. So hopefully, you know, she just has fun with it and enjoys the experience. Have you had time in the last few years to at least, when you say you had a holiday, but have you had much time at all just to put the basketballs in the cupboard and have a bit of free time so that you can relax? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I do. I get, I've had a week off now, which has been lovely. Um, obviously, we're going to camp tomorrow, but... Um, you know, I get a couple of days off here and there, which is nice. <laughs> it's not a lot of time, though, is it? A couple of days? Yeah, no, it's not a lot of time, but we definitely make the most of the time that we get. So. No, true enough. Now, when the Olympic ca uh, uh, Games campaign starts, there will be a significant amount of pressure on the Australians, and that's because we like to think we're the best in the world. But most of the girls that I've spoken to as we lead up to Beijing are saying this is exactly what they want. They want to know that the expectation is that gold will be the only medal they're striving for. Definitely. Well, I mean, everyone's goal going.